Um, so when you walk in here, the light turns on and it turns the tablet on the wall on as well. You can see where the old thermostat was. But it turns this guy on to go along with it and it reloads the screen at the same time. Um, Cause it's kind of to save battery, this thing doesn't keep the data load or keep reloading it in the background. Um, so not only does the motion sensor trigger through Home Assistant to turn the screen on, it also triggers it to refresh the screen so all the, the stats on it are up to date. Um, and then there are just the front camera and the garage camera there and just some general, it's mostly lights, um, doesn't want to focus. There's the garage door, um, dining room delay, one minute, that's the delay for this light um, over here. So if you, that's because it's darker in here, but there's the sensor. I have the temperature sensor hanging out of it because I thought the readings were a degree or two higher with it being inside the case. Um, I don't know, they seem to be pretty much the same outside, so I just never put it back in because it's a pain in the ass with all the wires. Um, but yeah, that just controls that light with a PIR motion sensor right there. And there's a LED there, it's green for motion. Um, when the furnace comes on, it's red. Um, yeah. And then there's also one, like the bathroom one when I walk in here. Yeah, that one will light up. I got another one of those in here, and the kitchen has one as well. Hey guys, back here with another video on my uh, automation with Home Assistant. Um, the last uh, week or so roughly, maybe a little more, I've been working on kind of making some of the lights turn on with motion so that way we don't have to say anything or push any buttons or anything. Um, we just walk in a room and they come on and then you walk out of the room and they go off um, shortly after you. Um, you can see my light sensors tab here. Um, the three that have motion sensing currently are the dining room one here. Um, let me see the kitchen one and the bathroom one is also on a motion sensor. So you can turn them on and off as normal but then there's also a motion sensor to go along with it. Um, and then you'll see over here under the input number, um, you'll have bathroom light delay, dining room light delay, and the kitchen light delay. And this is just a slider on how many minutes you want the light to stay on. And then it will turn them off. Um, the only thing that I found that doesn't work for some reason that I haven't figured out is when you set it to 0 0.5 for half a minute, it doesn't work. They actually, it turns off in like two seconds. Um, so if I go less than a minute, it's wonky for some reason, but at anything above that, it's fine. Three and a half, four or five minutes, it doesn't matter. Um, but less than a minute, it's literally like two seconds and the light will shut off. Because um, when I originally started doing this, I just put them on, set it to s turn the light on with motion, and then set a delay for like a minute. But the problem that was happening is even if you were still in in the room it would just shut off on you um, which kind of sucks and at night if you're not moving around enough or whatever or even if you are moving around the light will just shut off on you and then you continue to move it'll turn back on it'll just keep going on and off um, so this is a different approach it's a little more complicated but this actually does not start that timer until there is no motion detected um, so as long as you're kind of moving around in the room the one minute timer won't even it won't even begin to start until you stop moving or you you exit the room um, I find a minute pretty much works because we don't really stand in one spot for a minute um, but just in case it can be bumped up for some reason um, but easily with the sliders it says dining room motion light under Elias um, this is under the automations.old you put this in your configurations.yaml file, automations old, and then this is kind of the way you can do automations that used to be, um, because now 
when you go in here there's the built-in automations editor but I don't really like this because there's a lot of things missing um, one thing that I really dislike about it is just the fact that it doesn't even allow you to delete an automation you can delete everything in here but then it still leaves it as an automation but just an empty one there's nothing in it there should just be a, a simple delete button to delete it um, so then to delete it you actually have to open up your automations.yaml file and then find that and actually delete it and then you can get rid of it but I totally dislike this for the most part um, unless it's something that's super simple otherwise I'm not a fan um, I prefer the old automations.old that you put in your configuration.yaml back to dining room motion light and then we got trigger, platform, state, the entity ID is a sensor dining room motion. Um, that's just what I named the dining room motion sensor. Um, if you've seen Bra Automation here on YouTube, he has the, the multi-sensor. Um, pretty much gives you all the code and everything, even a 3D printed case file that you can print off, which I've done for all of them. Um, so you can just build a multi-sensor and then you'll end up with something similar to that I mean it's whatever you name it to and then it'll when there's no motion it'll always output standby and when there is motion it'll be motion space detected here so when that detects motion it then it does an action which calls home assistant dot turn on and then the entity, entity ID would be a script um, so now we're going into the scripts.yaml file and we're going to look for timed lamp dining room which is right here and there's the timed lamp dining room and then just uh, kind of the friendly name turn on dining room light with the timer and then you perform a sequence because there's more than one service that's going on here on the first one script turn off data entity ID script that timer off dining room um, this is actually relating to the next script. Um, what this one is doing is when there's movement in the room, kind of like what I was talking about before, it cancels that script. It ends, it cancels the timer, so it starts back from whatever you set it for a minute or two minutes. So it pretty much just resets it every time there's movement. Um, that's what that first one is for. And then there's a service light turn on light dot dining room this is what actually turns the light on when there's motion detected um, again that's going to depend on whatever you named your light and then you got light turn another light turn on service this is just for me this is because there's an led light that i also have in all of the sensors and that just turns on the led light to green as you'll see in the video here that I took with my phone real quick. Um, so when there's motion detected, the LED light just turns green. I mean, it, you don't really need it, but it's there, so I figured, yeah, why not include it? Um, then there's also timer off dining room. Um, this what turns off the light after X number of minutes. Um, then you have this delay code here, and then it uses an input slider, and that is that input number here is this this one it uses the number that you select here to set the time off delay that's what all that is and again back to the automations dining room off state dining room motion sensor when it goes from motion detected to standby it's going to home assistant turn on which is calling the script timer off dining room which is right here. It's a lot easier, I guess, when you actually see the code or you have it in person. You can just copy and paste and dissect it. Um, kind of hard to explain. I don't know if I'm doing all that great, but <laughs> just a few lines. And that works. It works perfect because the lights stay on when you're in the room. You leave the room, they turn off. That's exactly what I needed. Because um, I was having all kinds of issues trying to do it simpler without the scripts and just trying to do it in automation. And it was even to the point where at one time you'd move, the light would turn on, you'd move again, the light would turn off. Like, 
<laughs> it would just keep going back and forth. So you'd move on, move off, and the light would just keep going on, off, on, off, on, off. It was... I don't know why that was happening because there was no script or no automation to turn the light off right away, but it was doing it anyways. But this way it works flawless. This tablet screen on um, automation right here. <clears throat> Platform state entity ID is light dining room and when the dining room light goes from off to on um, the Action performs a service MQTT publish and then the data template uh, Topic is wall panel slash my wall panel slash command and then the payload template um, is wake true um, Wake true just says yes wake wake the screen. Um, that's what turns it on and then what reloads the the data in wall panel um, kind of the same thing MQTT publish topic wall panel my wall panel command again um, and then the template reload true so yes reload the data um, there's some other things um, it's called wall panel you'll find it on uh, github um, it used to have a different name I believe but they changed it but it works great um, it does have a camera motion sensor that you can enable but if your tablet is not plugged in, um, it doesn't even make it a day before it's dead. I will tell you that because the camera is pretty much on 24-7. So, I mean, just think if you turn your camera on your phone, it doesn't last that long. Um, so that just kills it unless it's plugged in. So I have been using the MQTT that's built in the wall panel and in Home Assistant, and they can communicate back and forth that way. So the dining room motion turns on the dining room light and then the dining room light turns on the tablet screen. So it's just kind of like a chain reaction. Um, you could have the dining room motion turn on the tablet as well, but I didn't do that because every time it picks up motion, it'll just keep reloading the tablet screen. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of overkill. I really just needed to turn on and reload one time. Um, the light's only going to turn on once unless you leave and then come back and turns on again but it's going to be a lot less frequent than if it was based off of motion and just keep triggering it over and over again um, so that's why it's based off of the light which the light's based off of the motion if that makes sense but yeah I think that pretty much covers it Thanks for watching. I will uh, think of something else for the next one here.